Hey guys, have you ever planted something and were super excited about it and it looked like it died? Well, I have a solution for you and I'm going to show you how to harvest the seeds of some of your favorite flowers. I wanted to show you guys how to get pansy seeds from your existing pansies so that way you can grow and plant your own pansies. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to locate the pansy seeds so that way from your existing pansy you can um, grow more pansies. Okay, excuse the kids, but as you can see right here, these little buds, you would want to locate, I guess, what you would call, I guess, like a dead pansy leaf and just check it out. And then these little pod seeds are going to be your pansy seeds. So I'm just gonna gently try to break off that stem right there. And I'm gonna find a couple of more. So that way I can just put all my pansy seeds in a um, container. There's another one. So how cool is it that you can save money and off of one pansy that you can just make multiple. So, super cool. So I'm over here on my gardening table and look at this. How cool is that? So I'm going to take these seeds out and then I'm going to store them and label them so I'll know what type of pansy um, plant I have. Okay, so I'm just going to take a plastic bag and break these pot seeds into it. The next flower we're going to talk about is Euphorbia Snow on the Mountain. I fell in love with this flower. It's super beautiful and it pairs really well in your flower arrangements. Okay, this is what the seed pods look like. And the seeds are actually inside of those. Let's talk about our next flower and it's snapdragons. So snapdragons are super beautiful. They do not like the heat, so um, even if your snapdragon looks brown like this, this is where you can get the seeds. Our next flower are the beautiful columbine. Okay guys, so I was showing you earlier how you can get more plants from your existing plants, which is by harvesting uh, the seeds. Okay, so this is the columbine um, that hummingbirds love. And so if you get one that looks like this, it's not all the way brown. It's going to be a little bit more challenging to get the seeds out. So you want to tear apart one of the uh, pods like that. And then you would want to open it. So, it's kind of hard to film with one hand. But as you open it, the seeds are in the inside. So I'm trying to see if I can separate it. So see that black right there? The seeds are in the inside, so then you just dump that out. So don't be alarmed if you picked off one and you're like, where's the seed? You just got to open it up. And it's a little, like I said, it's easier if you got one that's already um, brown. Because see, I can do this and the seeds will fall out. But, of course, I'll go back through and make sure I got all of them out. So, this is an easy way to harvest your seeds. Now, let's talk about a personal favorite flower of mine, and that is zinnias. They come in a variety of different colors, and what you do is wait till those zinnia flowers die off, turn brown, and then you're going to pluck off the dead blossom head.
So you guys' vegetables may have already went to seed. Um, this is our broccoli plant. I know you see a cucumber, but the cucumber vine is on the broccoli plant. So what you do is just keep your existing vegetables in the garden. They will flower and then they will form their seed pods. So this is the seed pod of our broccoli. Here's our last flower that I'm gonna show you guys. And we did a video already on harvesting sunflower seeds. There are many flowers that you can harvest your seeds from where you can buy one plant and get many from. I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless.